hey guys welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to show you guys how i got these marble inspired nails one of my um, supporters requested this video and so that's what i'm going to do for you guys today um, i'm doing it a little bit different today i wanted to try to do my nails on like a little like a little um fingernail stand or whatever you want to call it instead of doing it directly on my hands so we'll see how this works out um right here you guys are going to just see me applying creme de la creme as my base um and then I'm gonna cure it for 60 seconds. I'm only gonna do one coat because I know that um, my supporter that requested this video asked for a clear and um, white marble look, um, but I just couldn't go directly with clear, so I wanted just something to be under, and so I decided to go with Creme de la Creme. As you guys know, my favorite nude base, so yeah. All right, you guys, so here I'm gonna be using a cotton ball that has alcohol on it, and I'm gonna use this to get the sticky or the tacky part from the um, gel nail polish, the part that's left over after you paint a nail. I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about. I literally say this in every video. That's what I'm gonna go ahead and do. Also, you guys, I'm so sorry for how my voice sounds. I freaking sound like a freaking zombie. But anyways, I just wanted to let you guys know I sound crazy right now, but I know that it's Friday and I need to get some content out for you guys. So I decided whatever, I'm going to um, keep consistent with my supporters. So that's what I'm going to do. Anyways, <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and use this Ibrit um, gel nail polish in the color P1, which is a white gel polish. Then I'm going to go ahead and use these two tools to go ahead and try to create the marble effect that you guys are going to see me do right about now. So pretty much what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and pretty much dip my brush into some um, white gel polish that I put on a piece of paper or like a little like, I don't know what you call it, just something and so it's not coming directly out of the bottle. And then I'm gonna go ahead and create like squiggly lines, if you will. Um, so that way I can kind of create a, a marble effect. Um, that's pretty much what I'm doing here. This doesn't have to be perfect at all. Obviously it's marble, nothing about marble is perfect. So. Yes, and you guys, I honestly, I feel like I do like this look. I mean, I wish I would have like had a better technique, but I still feel like it's actually really pretty. So you guys let me know if you guys like this. I definitely am gonna come back for a second time and try it all over again, but I tried my best and I hope that you guys like it. If you do, leave a comment down below and make sure that you guys like my video and subscribe if you guys are just coming to my page and watching my videos, but not subscribing. Anyways, you guys, so here I just dipped my brush into some alcohol. That's what's in that little container. And then I'm just going to go ahead and lightly tap on the um, gel polish that I've applied. Um, so that way I can kind of like dissolve it, if that makes sense. And then I'm going to cure it for 60 seconds.
all right you guys and another side note forgive me um when it comes to like the angle of this video i'm still trying to master the um, perfect angle when it comes to recording my nail videos um i have a new tripod that i'm working with and i always um have my hand a little bit out of frame stuff like that so just bear with me i'm trying to master it trust me i'm getting there so yeah just wanted to let you guys know Alright you guys, so now that I'm done applying my first layer, I'm going to go ahead and repeat the exact same step in no specific order. And I'm going to go ahead and literally use some alcohol, um, kind of dissolve the um, dissolve the little squiggly line that I'm creating. But this time I'm going to try my best not to dilute it as much. Um, and I wanted to let you guys know, um, based off of just trial and error, and me, this is the first time I've ever done this before, you guys don't have to like... Um, do this a third like because this is the I, this is the second layer i do and then after this i do one more layer of this you guys could pretty much stop here if you guys wanted to but i was playing around like i mentioned this is the first time i've ever did i'm um, a marble so i was just playing around so that's the one thing that i probably would change this time or change the next time i do this i wouldn't do like three layers of it if that makes sense or i would wipe my brush more consistently um just because if you guys noticed i have like a lot of like dissolved white in the background I don't know you guys will see you can pretty much do whatever works best for you but that's just one tip that I would have moving forward all right you guys so to finish everything up I'm gonna go ahead and use this DND um, clear top coat to go ahead and seal in everything I actually like the finish once I um, apply the top coat obviously who doesn't like applying the top coat that's when everything turns into magic um, I'm gonna cure it for 60 seconds and then I'm gonna clean it off with a alcohol pad or a cotton ball with alcohol
All right, you guys, so to finish everything up, I'm gonna go ahead and start applying on the press on nails. Um, if you guys can see, I have like these little sticky tabs or little sticky tapes on, on my nails. I decided to go ahead and use these instead of actually gluing the nails on this time just because I can't wear these permanently. I have to actually take them off within the next day or two so I have more like a temporary fix so I'm not ruining my actual nails and my nail beds. So I'll leave the description for these down below if you just want to wear these temporarily. If not, if you guys are looking for a more of a long-term solution, you guys can go ahead and um, apply the EC Basket Nail Glue. Um, that glue is absolutely amazing. Um, this is a side note, but I just recently did my um, sister's nails. Um, if you guys look at my videos, I did the star nail tutorial um, on her, and um, those nails have literally almost been on her nails for a month, and she barely has any new growth. So you guys should definitely check out that if you're looking for more of a so, uh, blah, blah, blah. Why do I do that on every video? A long-term solution. <laughs> Anyways, you guys, I love this. This is so gorgeous. Like, I didn't think I was going to like it because, like I mentioned, I over, um, I kind of just went crazy on the, um, white, uh, nail polish and did too many layers, but I like it. I'm um, here. I'm just applying cuticle oil, you know, the usual. I'm going to rub it in and that's it. Um, you guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Make sure that you guys like, comment, subscribe, turn on your notification bell. That way you guys don't miss any of my um, videos and also help me get to my first milestone. I'm trying to get to a thousand. So help me get there. I'm gonna see you guys later. Bye.